Hey y'all, welcome back to George Clinton Soul. As you see, I have country uh, ham hocks here in the sink. I'm going to put them in some uh, baby lime, frozen baby lima beans. Okay. But first, I'm going to let my meat cook for about an hour, hour and a half until it get tender because the frozen the frozen lima beans it don't it won't take them that long to cook and i want my meat to be you know done to get done in my in my lima beans okay so what i'm doing i'm washing up these lima beans i mean washing up these these ham hocks before i put the lima beans in i'm gonna rinse them off in some cold water Put them in my strain and rinse them, and then I add them to the pot. When I add the lima beans to the pot, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of oil that's leftover oil from fried chicken or pork chop, whatever I had. I have cooked recently, which was the, the fried pork chop, and then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of sugar. Okay, that's all I'm gonna add to it. If I need, I'm going to taste it. Because remember me telling you, you got to taste your food as you're cooking it. Okay? I'm going to taste it as it's cooking to see whether or not it needs salt. Because most of the time, when you're cooking with these uh, country ham hocks, they don't need salt. Because, they are, because the meat is already salty enough. Okay, let me take the pot over to the stove. Okay, the, I, the pot is on the stove cooking. Okay, it's going to cook for about an hour, hour and a half. Until the meat is tender. And then I'm going to add the butter beans. When I add the butter beans, I'm going to add two tablespoons of oil. One tablespoon of sugar, let it cook then until the butter beans get done and the meat and the butter bean combine together and develop a good flavor, okay? So I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I think it's time to um, add the butter beans to it. Okay, yes, the meat is tender, getting tender. So I can start stick the fork in it. Now at the time I can add my butter beans because the meat can finish cooking along with the butter beans. And it won't overcook. Okay. So we go over here and wash the butter beans. Okay, I'm gonna move you over here so you can see. I'm gonna cut the whole the entire bag. All you need to do is just rinse. Rinse, rinse them real good. It don't matter the water can be cold or hot.
go here and add the butter beans to the pot now. This here, this, this may be a little bit over a tablespoon, so I'm not going to fill up the next one about that much. So, what you don't because it's best to have less oil than too much. You don't want to over grease uh, your peas, you don't want them too greasy. Okay. Next is the sugar. We're going to get a little sugar. Tablespoon. That's all I'm gonna put. Stir everything around. Put the top back on. Not all the way because I don't want to cook over. Okay. And that's it. We just let that cook. Right, and I'll be back. Okay, let's check it. Well, I'm checking it on my taste too because I haven't tasted any of them. See what it needs. Mm. I don't need anything, I just need to cook a little bit more. It's tasting real good.
for y'all. Let's see. Are they ready now? I want the raw them to get thicker. Okay. I'm going to put the top on it. And I'll be back. We're going to let that cook for just a little while longer. And then we're going to turn it off because those little baby llama beans, I guess they're going to, that's all the thick, thickness, the, uh, the color that we're going to get, that the broth, whatever you call it. So if I just let it keep cooking like that, it won't have no uh, no juice on them, and I like a little juice on my butter beans and peas. Oh, thank all my new subscribers. Every time I look, I be getting one or two more. Thank y'all. Cooking frozen peas is really not any different from cooking uh, dry peas or fresh peas. Now, if you're cooking fresh peas, you can you can put your meat and your peas on at the same time. Also, with the uh, dry peas, except for your black eyed peas, you have to let your meat cook an hour and a half before you put your black eyed peas on because they they cook so so fast it'll take take black eyed peas long to get done so you will have to um, cook your meat first like I did with these frozen lima beans here but um yeah um the, 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 the dry ones and the uh, frozen ones they cook about the same same amount of time you can I can I cook it on it don't matter what heat, as long as you know you got it on, it's it cooking and not too low. But I don't have it wide open, but I have it on, uh, if I be up pretty high, I got a gas stove. So you know mine ain't got, it, it got low and high on there, and got in between. I just mine uh, by the fire. The um, electric stove, uh, y'all have the dogs and y'all, uh, just y'all's fire. I have just mine about how high the fight is. I hope y'all enjoy this video. I won't do one tomorrow, which is on which is Thursday, but I will be back Friday. Friday, I got a taste for some tilapia, fried tilapia, and I think I'm gonna cook some tilapia and uh French fries Friday. Okay. But whatever it be, it may not be that, but but and it, and it may be if I got got a taste for it. But anyway, look out for a video. Be watching out for a video on Friday. Okay, we're gonna get ready to plate this up. It did its thing. It got thick. Let me turn it on. Okay. I'm going to taste it first. I don't know where it went dead at y'all, but I know I was, I think I had to made it to a, showing you where the gravy is it's real thick. It's thick now. Just like I like it. I'm just gonna taste it on the spoon because I already eaten. Not looking. Hmm. They good. I 
It's hot and I put too many on this on this spoon. Y'all, they are delicious. Coming down with it. The meat got it with a really, really good taste. And it, it just tastes so good. Okay. I want to thank y'all for watching my channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. I want to thank y'all for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And after watching this video, you like it, give me a thumb, <coughs> thumb, <coughs> thumbs up. Good gracious. <laughs> give me y'all. After watching this video, you like it, give me a thumbs up, okay? And I'll see y'all on Friday. Bye-bye.